Part A, Level 1 PPE. Easy international travel and the number of healthcare workers who have become infected while caring for patients with diseases such as Ebola and MERS-CoV means that we must be prepared to protect ourselves when the risk arises. Being alert to the risk and always using standard precautions is essential, but sometimes the use of personal protective equipment will be required. PPE is only effective if used properly and this video will demonstrate the necessary steps and attention to detail required to keep you safe. Level 1 PPE is the minimum PPE required for initial physical contact with a patient who has departed an Ebola-affected country within 21 days prior to symptom onset or who has been deemed a contact of a case of EVD and who presents with fever or history of fever without symptoms of fluid production such as vomiting, diarrhoea or bleeding. However, clinical judgment should always be used by a senior healthcare worker when deciding upon the appropriate level of PPE for any clinical scenario. There are four items in the Level 1 PPE kit. Each item is designed to be single use only and must be disposed of after one use. Item 1 is a fluid resistant long sleeved gown. The type of gown recommended for Level 1 PPE differs from the type of gown recommended for Level 2 PPE with regard to the required standard and the technical specifications. While it is permissible to substitute the Level 2 PPE gown, in the Level 1 PPE kit, it is not permissible to substitute the Level 1 PPE gown in the Level 2 PPE kit. Item 2 is a fluid-resistant surgical face mask. Item 3 provides coverage of the eyes, and this can be either via a pair of goggles or a face shield. For the purposes of this training video, we will use the goggles option. Item 4 is a pair of gloves. The glove cuffs should be sufficiently long so that they fully cover the cuff of the gown. For level 1 PPE, the steps in donning are as follows. Step 1. Remove wrist and hand jewellery. Make sure you are bare below the elbows. Perform hand hygiene and allow the hands to dry. If the hands are physically dirty, use soap and water for hand hygiene. If the hands are physically clean, use alcohol-based hand rub. Next, step 2. Put on the fluid-resistant long-sleeved gown. Secure the waist ties and secure the neck ties. Step 3. Put on the surgical mask. Secure the upper ties with the bow knot at the middle of the head. Fix the upper band to the bridge of the nose. Fit the mask snug to the face and below the chin and secure lower ties with the bow knot behind the neck. Step 4. Put on the goggles. Adjust the elastic strap to fit securely. If the goggles fog up, the mask is not fitted correctly, so adjust the mask seal and retry. Step 5. Put on the gloves. Grasping the gown cuff while donning each glove to ensure that the glove cuff is long enough to completely cover the cuff of the gown.
If the shorter length glove cuff doesn't fully cover the cuff of the gown, then you should substitute with a longer length glove cuff. Step 6. Check the PPE is secure and comfortable before approaching a patient. Then enter the patient's room and remember to not adjust the PPE during the patient care activity. When the patient care activity is complete, proceed to the removal or doffing of the level 1 PPE. The healthcare worker must have access to alcohol-based hand rub and a designated healthcare risk waste container at the point of doffing. The steps for doffing of level 1 PPE are as follows. Step 1. Perform hand hygiene on the gloved hands and allow to dry. Step 2. Remember, the gown or the gloves could be contaminated with the bowl of virus. So you're going to slowly remove the gown. And ideally, you'd like to remove the gloves in the same maneuver as the gown. First, you break the gown ties at the waist. Then using the gloved hand, grasp the front of the gown at the shoulder level and pull the gown forward gently, breaking the neckties. The gown is then removed, pulling slowly from inside out until the wrists are reached. If possible, remove the glove and the gown in the one manoeuvre. However, if that does not happen, then you remove the gown and dispose of the gown and then remove the glove slowly, one by one. Discard the bundle containing the gown and the gloves into the waste container. And then step three, perform hand hygiene on bare hands and allow to dry. Step four, remember the goggles could be contaminated with the bowl of virus, so don't touch the front of the goggles. You're going to slowly remove the goggles. Tilt the head forward, grasp the elastic strap at the back of the head, Close your eyes and gently lift the strap from behind and forward away from the face and discard the goggles into the waste container. Step 5. Perform hand hygiene on the bare hands and allow to dry. Step 6. Remember, the mask could be contaminated with Ebola virus. Don't touch the front of the mask. You're going to slowly remove the mask, breaking the lower ties first, then break the upper ties. Close the eyes and gently lift the mask from behind and forward away from your face and discard the mask into the waste container. Step 7. Perform hand hygiene on bare hands and allow to dry. Next, don a new pair of gloves. Seal the healthcare risk waste container. The healthcare risk waste container is quarantined and the next steps in waste disposal will be determined by laboratory test results and in consultation with your local Department of Public Health.